wetland habitats play a key role in maintaining a healthy environment. But over the last century, much of the world's wetlands have been lost. There are birds come here all the way from Russia, from Japan to breed. These places are so important to keep these species going and it won't happen unless there are people here volunteering. That's why the Jesmond Lions have been actively involved in helping restore the Hunter wetlands in New South Wales, Australia for more than 20 years. We've built pathways, bridges, bird hides, and we now look to do the maintenance on those projects to keep them in, the, in, in good condition. Lions from the Newcastle University Club lend a hand. Helping out with the environment's very important because it's only fair for us to take care of the earth for future generations. The entire district got involved in constructing the Century Trail. The building was quite interesting, particularly in the swampy areas where we're actually in the water with piles and building the boardwalk. It was quite a nice experience. Our lines built the Century Trail to give the blind or partially sighted the wetlands experience. I have retinitis pigmentosa. I have no central vision, no external vision, and what other vision I have is cloudy. Can you hear the birds? I have experienced the warmth of the atmosphere, the smell of the plants and the sound of the natural birds and insects. I was the lion who actually prepared the design of the Century Trail. It was all based on people's senses, sight, sound, smell and touch. Lions consulted with experts to create a safe and enjoyable experience. The material on the pathway is called rhyolite and as you walk on it, it crunches under your feet. It's a yellow colour, uh, so that it, it's easily seen and, and if you walk off the pathway, you, you pretty well know you're off the pathway. All these things need to be maintained and it's important that they look good. It's nearly 14 years old and still looks almost as good as the day we built it. Every summer, Lions International Exchange students take up a project here. One of the most significant was building breeding hatches for the freckled duck, an endangered species. They weren't breeding, and we believe that it was because the habitat wasn't quite right. Building the natural straw hatches proved to be successful. Now the ducks are breeding again. We're just pleased that we were part of the solution. Um, I think the information learned here is, is actually passed on to other breeding colonies. What was once a dump site and football fields is now an internationally acclaimed wetland environment with more than 100,000 visitors each year, including many school children. The Hunter Wetlands is truly a place of conservation, education and discovery. Our club is proud of this wetlands project because of the value that it gives to the people that visit this centre. And through that, hopefully they'll take away the environmental message of just how important these places are. It's really important as a lion to undertake environmental projects because it's looking after the planet that we're living on. 